Hello everyone, it's Monday and you are here with Haley. I hope everyone's having a really nice long weekend. I think it's long weekend. It's a long weekend for everyone in Canada and the US today. I don't know. But yeah, happy Monday. Our topics this week are... Da, 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 da. Why am I having a brain fart? Topics this week are any bad advice we got when we were first coming out or what to do when your ex, like your ex-girlfriend, starts becoming friends with all your friends that you have now. Also, look at that behind me. That is uh, the tinfoil ball that I have saved after uh, taking down the hundred feet of tinfoil that was covered in my bedroom. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with it yet, um, so it's just taking up space in my bedroom right now. I'm going to talk about um, instances when your ex-girlfriend is friends or becomes starts to become friends with the friends that you have now. I think this tends to happen a lot and I think it's just because, or at least in my experience, the lesbian community or just the LGBT community is so um, intertwined like everyone always seems to be in everyone's business everyone has slept with everyone else and everyone's been with everyone's girlfriends and ex-girlfriends and friends or everyone is all mixed up together and unless you guys are in different completely different cities or different states or provinces or whatever um i think your ex isn't going to be out of your life it's it's kind of going to happen that they're going to be friends with people that you know or are going to start <laughs> dating people that you know. I'm good friends with a lot of my exes, so I talk to a lot of them on a regular basis. And I have one of I have friends that are dating my exes, and it doesn't bother me whatsoever. But I guess it, it could come to a point where an ex that you don't want in your life anymore is asserting herself into your group of friends. And then what do you, what do you do then? I think don't go to the ex and start talking to her about it because I bet you without a doubt what I'm gonna say this that's what she wants she's trying to get back at you or she's trying to get your attention or she wants you to come to her because there's so many friends that you could choose from why is she all of a sudden forcing herself into your group of friends so but I don't go to her because you're just giving her what she wants if it really bothers you that they're um, talking to your ex to become friends with your ex if that's something that really gets under your skin and you really don't like that talk to your friends about it don't go trash talking your ex-girlfriend saying like oh you shouldn't be friends with her she's terrible then nah, nah, nah. you're above that the relationship is over you're you're trying to get to a racist person from your life as much as possible um, there's no need to be going spreading not spreading rumors but just saying uh saying shit about her just say how it makes you feel if they choose to still talk to her or hang around with her that's okay i guess just because the relationship ended and you may not see her as a uh, really positive awesome person maybe she is with other people and you've just got the negative side of her i don't know i just highly recommend you don't go to the source, to this girl, to talk about it with her because it's just, it's not worth it. It's going to cause more drama than you need. If it's really not affecting your day-to-day -day life, get used to it, get used to hearing about her, um, maybe casually seeing her. It's part of life, man. We can't erase all of our exes completely from our lives as much as I bet some of us would really like to do that. You just gotta live with it and, you know, just think you're best off. And yeah, be friendly. I am going to go enjoy the beautiful weather outside. When I say enjoy the weather, I mean walk to the grocery store and walk back. You guys have a great week, um, and I will see you next Monday. Okay, bye.